Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm Jake Billing and today we're looking at this awesome RC boat from Atomic RC. Now this is the Barbed Wire 2 XL. What do you guys think to this? That's absolutely awesome, right? This is a 24 inch racing boat. Everything you need is in this box. It's completely ready to run. So I think it's time to get inside the box and check it out. I've just had a quick flick through the Atomic RC instruction manual for this boat. There's a great looking balance charger here and an even better looking 2.4 gigahertz radio transmitter. It's got some nice trim settings on it. It's trigger and obviously steering left and right with the boat. This takes four AA batteries which are also included. Let's have a look at the boat next. Straight away, look at the design on that. That is beautiful. It's really, really nice. You've got the black, the yellow, and silver all together. On the top of this thing, we've got the warning label for the battery because it has to be charged and discharged correctly. You receive your hex wrench Allen keys, spare prop, marine grease, some AA batteries for your transmitter. The battery for the RC boat, this is a Venom branded 2200 milliamp hour 3 cell battery with a 75C discharge. Now the boat stand was really easy to assemble. It's got three pieces of plastic holding two plates together and your boat sits simply on top like so. Just look at this thing, it's like a speeding torpedo about to dart through the water at 25, 30 miles an hour. Let's take a look at the prop and the rudder. Now this is actually aluminium, aluminium, and the prop itself is plastic, but it looks overall like a really nice, good quality boat guys, and it is water cooled. We'll have a look inside in a second and I'll show you what I mean. Now I'm really excited to get this thing out there, to have some fun with it on the lake. Unfortunately, we've had about nine months worth of rain in about two weeks here, so at the moment the weather isn't great. When it gets sunnier, we'll take this out for some fun, and I promise you we'll do it some justice on the lake. Now, are you ready to see inside this thing? Because it is absolutely awesome. So it has a quick release mechanism here. It allows you access into the hole. But just take a look at the design and the quality inside this thing. So you've got the radio system just here, followed by the brushless system, which is water-cooled in the center. You can see it's actually an outrunner motor and that means the outside of the can moves around the inside rather than the inside moving. And you can see that that's turning the prop shaft all the way to the rear, which is in turn moving the propeller. I've missed out the rudder servo which sits alongside the radio system. So the aluminium, aluminium rudder here at the back is moved by this little servo here. followed by the ESC at the rear. This is a Seeking 30 amp ESC, and you've got XT60 connectors for your batteries. So in this clip here, I'm gonna try and show you how the water-cooled system works. There's a little hole here for the intake. When the motor's spinning, it sucks water in through this hole here, through the tube, it goes through the motor mount itself, through that, out the other side, along the back of here, there's another pipe. It comes back around the front of the hull, through the ESC. You can see the pipe returning down here, and then through the rudder, and out the bottom. And if I just try and get underneath, you should be able to see. So the water's pumped through this pipe here, out through the rudder, and out back into the water supply. At the rear of the boat here, there's also a little hole. And it's quite significant because it fills a quite a large space of the hull, working all the way to the front and that transparent tube there you can see, which leads to another outlet pipe here on the side. Now I'm wondering if that is to do with the self-writing system or whether it's just for pure balance. Maybe you guys can tell me, let me know down below if you know what this is for. Now the Venom RC battery that comes with this boat is very powerful and we need to charge it correctly. So Atomic RC provided this pocket charger that charges at 2 amps and that should charge this battery in roughly an hour and 15 minutes from empty.
Thanks again Atomic RC for sending me this awesome looking brushless racing boat. I can't wait to get it out on the waves. So what do you think guys? Let me know in the comments box down below and I'll get back to you once I've read the comment. As always guys, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, give me a comment if you want to, and I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for the driving video of this on the lake. Take care for now, bye. Psst, don't forget, product link right down below. Bye.